element of the thing is my life story, and then the caption is how it all started. Yeah. Um, well, for starters, my name is Marcos Medina Mendoza, and I am a 16-year-old junior at. Oh. I'm a 16-year-old junior at Valley High School. The woman you see in the picture is my mother, and I am proud that she is my mother. Most of the time, she gets me mad. But then she spoils me and gives me great advice. I am very, very lucky to have her in my life, and I realize I am very fortunate to have an incredible woman like this be my mother. I am aware that many don't have a mother or a father. To me, my mother is both. I am the oldest of six, and if I mess up, I know my mom will be there every step of the way to help me, guide me to be the best role model I can be for my younger siblings. I am also on my mom. A tradition, it says, uh, this isn't just a tree that randomly combusted into flames. This, to me, symbolizes that the people on Townsend Street will always have that spark of flame inside that shows that they are proud of their race and who they are. That to firefighters, they see a random tree burning due to trouble makers, but little do they know that this burning of a tree is now our tradition. Every 4th of July, we burn this palm tree. And every year, the firefighters come and put it out. We do it to show our pride and our traditions as a community. Of course, maybe it was just some kid burning it for the hell of it, and there really is no meaning behind this tradition. If that's the case, then sorry, firefighters. The caption for this one is, Addicts isn't the only one with a girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my girlfriend, and her name is Jocelyn. She's over there teaching some gymnastics. In the uh, for starters, she plays a big role in my life. Before this amazing woman, she's 15 now. I was a horrible boyfriend. <laughs> okay, hello. Uh, before this amazing woman, I was a horrible boyfriend, and I am very, I am, and I am being very honest. But the past few exes have showed me so much that I'm actually changing into a better boyfriend. That now I really do want to keep this one. She has taught me so much about women that I never really paid much attention to. She's there when I am sad, and I can tell her mostly everything. I know that my time with her will be a very fun learning experience. Uh, the caption is, let's take a cute pose for this weird Mexican kid. Uh, this was taken outside our library. Cynthia and me were outside talking about our photo essays when I saw these kids and asked their mother to take a picture of them. On Townsend, you really need to watch out. Me, Johnny, and a couple friends once saw a guy on his bike get shot. Most, most of the times I am scared. I am scared that one night, as my mom says, pinche vago te va a suceder algo por estar de puro vago y mujeriego. Uh, something might happen to me as I have no older brother to look out for me like these two young brothers will look out for each other. I pray that this won't happen, but I value life, long relationships such as friends and brothers and sisters. What these guys have is an unbreakable bond that no one will manage to break. The only things I have are my friends. Uh, the caption for this one is my older brothers, uh, which brings me to this. As a kid, I moved so much after my mom and dad got separated. Before that, I lived in a nice big house with two wonderful neighbors. Everything was okay. Then after their breakup, everything toughened up on me. Like Life literally screwed me, screwed my, with my wits. I then began seeing shootings, stabbing, kidnappings, beatings, overdoses, and abuses. It all got even crazier when I went and moved to Townsend. But that is where I met my amazing friends, which I consider some of them brothers. I met Johnny. He used to be overweight and so huggable. <laughs> but with his dedication, he turned into that skinny, loud, loud mouth, annoying kid that everyone loves and cares about. Well, for the most part, at least I know I care about him. I met Robert, the guy that I talked to about certain things, and without a doubt, is my ride or die type of guy. I would go anywhere with this quickly tempered, loud mouth. Don't share your feelings with me because I am a manly type of guy. And I've met Javier. Um, oh my God, I am glad I met this guy. I don't mean to sm smother. I don't know. I don't mean to smother this guy, but he has taught me a lot. He has what? <laughs> he has taught me so much. I consider him my older brother. I know I'm not much to any of these guys, but they mean a lot to me. Javi is the guy I can go talk to and actually pour out my feelings without being judged and receive incredible advice. Robert and Javi pick on me a lot, sometimes more than they should. <laughs> but I understand they do it because I am smaller and, and they do it to toughen me up for the real world when one day I am not with them. That really hurts knowing I won't keep these guys forever, but for now I am happy with the time I have them with them. I am looking forward to learning a lot more with these guys, with friends like these who needs anything else.